With Rogue One capping off a pretty decent year of science fiction on the big screen, can 2017 do any better? Welcome to The Final Frontier as I take a month-by-month -month look at the most anticipated films for 2017. January, Resident Evil The Final Chapter A relatively weak offering to start the year but this one clearly has its fans as this is the sixth and, as the name implies, the final instalment of the Resident Evil film series. Picking up immediately after the events in Resident Evil Retribution, this film sees humanity on its last legs in Washington DC. As the only survivor of what was meant to be humanity's final stand against the undead hordes, Alice must return to where the nightmare began, Raccoon City. February, the Lego Batman movie. Following the massive success of the Lego movie, the self-described leading man of that ensemble, Lego Batman, stars it in his own big screen adventure. But there are big changes brewing in Gotham, and if he wants to save the city from the Joker's hostile takeover, Batman may have to drop the learned vigilante thing, try to work with others and maybe, just maybe, learn to lighten up. I have preferred the original teaser trailers for this over the full trailer, nevertheless I have high hopes for this one. March. Logan. Following X-Men Origins Wolverine in 2009 and The Wolverine in 2013, Logan is the third solo outing for The Wolverine from the X-Men film series and is the final time we will see Hugh Jackman in a role that he has well and truly made his own. The standalone Wolverine films have arguably never reached the greatest heights of the best X-Men films, but Logan looks like it might be the send-off that the Wolverine deserves. I am truly buzzing for this one. Power Rangers Saban's Power Rangers, a big screen reboot of the Power Rangers franchise, follows five ordinary high school kids who must become something extraordinary when they learn that their small town of Angel Grove and the world is on the verge of being obliterated by an alien threat. I'm not quite sure about this one, I miss the Power Rangers craze in school so associate this franchise with cheese and camp, but if they manage to make Batman edgy and cool then maybe they can do the same with Power Rangers. Alternatively, this could easily go down the Fantastic Four route of disappointment. I've killed Rangers before. Life. Due to open on the same weekend is Life, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds. In this science fiction horror, the six-member crew of the International Space Station is tasked with studying a sample from Mars that may be the first proof of extraterrestrial life, but which proves to be more intelligent than expected. On which man is ever embarked. Ghost in the Shell Based on the internationally acclaimed sci-fi anime, Ghost in the Shell follows the Major, a special ops one-of-a-kind human-cyborg hybrid who leads the elite task force Section 9. Devoted to stopping the most dangerous criminals and extremists, Section 9 is faced with an enemy whose singular goal is to wipe out Hanka Robotics' advancements in cyber technology. Although Scarlett Johansson's casting as the Major has drawn criticism for its apparent whitewashing of the series, I think she is a great actress and I look forward to seeing her in this adaptation. April, The Circle. Starring Emma Watson and Tom Hanks, The Circle is based on the 2013 novel of the same name by Dave Eggers and has generated some early buzz. Emma Watson plays May, who joins the world's largest tech and social media company, Facebook, I mean The Circle. As she rises through the ranks, she is encouraged by the company's founder to live her life with complete transparency. But no one is really safe when everyone is watching. Because knowing is good. But knowing everything is better. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Set two months after the first film, this sequel to 2014's hugely successful Guardians of the Galaxy 
Volume 2 continues the team's adventures as they traverse the outer reaches of the cosmos to unravel the mysteries of Peter Quill's true parentage. When the original film came out, the Guardians were pretty much unknown, but a superb marketing campaign supported a quality film, and now Guardians Volume 2 is one of the biggest highlights in 2017. That's a really bad sign. Alien Covenant Banned for a remote planet on the far side of the galaxy, the crew of the colony ship Covenant discovers what they think is an uncharted paradise, but is actually a dark, dangerous world whose sole inhabitant is the synthetic David, survivor of the doomed Prometheus expedition. This sequel to the 2000 film Prometheus is the second installment of the Alien prequel series and is directed by Ridley Scott himself. June, Wonder Woman. Although DC hasn't quite managed to find Marvel's magic ingredients, this fourth installment of the DC Extended Universe is highly anticipated, especially because many consider Wonder Woman to be the best thing about Batman vs Superman. So surely an entire movie with her can only be a hit? Fingers are crossed. This is an origin movie which will show us how the Amazonian Princess Diana became the superhero warrior princess and her eventual quest to fight for our world amid the chaos of World War I. The Mummy Yet another reboot and yet another attempt to build a universe following the lead of the Marvel Universe. In this case, this reboot of the Mummy franchise is also the first installment in the Universal Monsters shared universe. Other monsters within this universe will include Van Helsing, the Invisible Man and Frankenstein's monster. This film sees an ancient queen, thought to be safely entombed in a crypt, whose destiny was unjustly taken from her, awakened in the current day, bringing with her malevolence grown over millennia and terrors that defy human comprehension. She has been denied. Transformers The Last Night Plot details for Transformers The Last Night are unknown at this time, and frankly, that's because it really doesn't matter what the plot is because we know exactly what will gain with this Michael Bay franchise. Minus nonsense with not a drop of care for characterization. In fact, I implore you not to go see this movie so this beloved franchise can be burned and raised from the ashes by someone who truly cares and loves the cartoon series. Oh, oh, this just in, in breaking news, it's actually been cancelled so nothing to see here ladies and gentlemen. Despicable Me 3 After two successful entries and a spin-off prequel that also did well, Despicable Me 3 is one of the most anticipated films of the year. Interestingly, the minions are missing in this trailer, which is good news to me as they have been milked a great deal, leading to oversaturation. Nevertheless, this sequel looks to capture the spirit of the early films as Drew battles Balthazar Bratt, a former child star who grows up to become obsessed with the character he played in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> July Spider-Man Homecoming A young Peter Parker navigates his newfound identity as a web-slinging superhero. Yes, we have yet another reboot for Spider-Man, but there is some hope this time as an early acting for this new Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War proved to be very promising. Let's hope they keep the story clean and simple and don't fall into the trap of multiple villains once again. War for the Planet of the Apes Picking up from where Dawn of the Planet of the Apes left off, this sequel shows Caesar preparing his community for the impending war against humanity that will determine the fate of their species and Earth's future. But don't expect a full resolution in this third part of the rebooted series, as the fourth Planet of the Apes film is already being planned. It will be a planet of apes. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets 
Being a fan of the brilliant The Fifth Element, I have high hopes for Luc Besson's Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, which is an adaptation of the French science fiction comic series Valerian and Laureline. The movie will follow Valerian along with his partner Laureline, who are special operatives for the government of the human territories charged with maintaining order throughout the Galactic Empire. The Dark Tower. Counselinger Roland de Chain roams an old west style landscape searching for a dark tower he hopes can preserve his dying world. This film is based on a series of novels of the same name by Stephen King. But rather than an adaptation, it will be a sequel of sorts following the ending of The Dark Tower 7, The Dark Tower, so I guess I better start reading those seven novels then. We then have a lull in August and September, followed by Child Roland to the Dark Tower came. October, Blade Runner 2049 30 years after the events of the first film, a new Blade Runner, LAPD Officer K, unearths a long-buried secret that has the potential to plunge what's left of society into chaos. K's discovery leads him onto a quest to find Rick Deckard, a former LAPD Blade Runner who has been missing for 30 years. I never thought I'd see a Blade Runner sequel in my lifetime, and I am two minds about it. On the one hand, why mess with a perfect, self-contained film by filming a sequel? But on the other, it's Blade Runner, one of the best and most iconic science fiction movies of all time. What's more exciting to see than that world brought to life again? I just hope it lives up to the original's greatness. I was good at it. Things were simpler then. The 2017 Cloverfield movie Originally referred to as God Particle, 2017 Cloverfield movie is, unsurprisingly, the third installment in the Cloverfield franchise and is produced by J.J. Abrams. It's a low-budget science fiction thriller in which a team of astronauts aboard a space station find themselves alone after the Earth disappears. To be honest, I'm not sure if there is a deeper link between the films and the Cloverfield universe other than that they take place in the universe at similar times, but it is rumoured that there will be a Cloverfield film every year, so I guess I'll have time to figure it out. The first two films were great, and the premise of this third film is intriguing. November, Thor Ragnarok. Thor must confront the gods to the gods when Asgard is threatened with Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse. This film takes place after Guardians Volume 2 and Spider-Man Homecoming, and before Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War. There is no official trailer yet, so here's a snippet from Thor's holiday during the events of Captain America Civil War. He doesn't know how to get in touch with you. I don't, I don't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone! Send a raven. Justice League. After years of build-up, we finally have DC's answers to Marvel's Avengers, Justice League. Fueled by his restored faith in humanity and inspired by Superman's selfless act, Bruce Wayne enlists the help of his newfound ally Diana Prince to face an even greater enemy. Together, Batman and Wonder Woman work quickly to find and recruit a team of metahumans to stand against this newly awakened threat. But is it already too late for Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg and The Flash to save the planet? that power can be innocent. December. Star Wars Episode 8. With The Force Awakens in December 2015 and Rogue One this year, Disney pretty much owns December in the theatres, and 2017's follow-up to The Force Awakens will no doubt continue their imperious march ever onwards. And deservedly so. Disney has shown that the franchise is in great hands, so let's hope that Episode 8 keeps the force going strong. And with the terrible news that Carrie Fisher is no longer with us, there will be just that extra little pugnancy to the film. If you enjoyed this video, please like and bookmark it for future reference. For more videos on all things science fiction, please subscribe.